I'm opening up a $470 Boom Loot Funko Pop Mystery Box. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan of Boom Loot and their mystery boxes. They always give fantastic value. Never leave you disappointed. We can't go straight into that box, right? You know how we are. We will do first two of the MrGrail.com Funko Pop Mystery Boxes. These are $15 each plus shipping, total of $19 a box, shipped out the door. Each one will have one Funko Pop and a brand new seven bucks pop, pop shield pop protector. The Funko Pop has no guaranteed value, nothing. So you can get $5 pop. You can lose money in this box. There are some grails in these boxes, some big grails. I've never hit one, maybe someday, maybe today's the day. You also get candy and a scratch off card in this, and this knife is really dirty. <laughs> it's almost kind of embarrassing, isn't it? I didn't know it was getting that bad, but whatever I was saying, train of thought, gone. Here we go. First one. I don't think it's a grail, is it? Not a grail, but that's a cool one though. We have My Hero Academia. Tomura Shigarika. He has like a pig face kind of, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna look at the Hobby DB app which will have the PPG value of the Funko Pops in this video. Hobby DB is who you should use for your collection because eventually you will sell your collection. And collection buyers like myself will want to see your Hobby DB collection page to see the overall value, each pop and everything. So make sure you use Hobby DB. Do not use the Funko app to log your collection. This is worth 15 bucks. So I broke even on that first one. And if you do have a Funko Pop collection you would like to sell, feel free to reach out to me at franchisecaseoutlook.com. I'll make sure I have my email below in the description box also. I buy collections out. I don't buy them all. It has to make sense for me. It has to make sense for both of us. But I will buy them. 200 bonus tokens. So first box, break even box, break even. Yeah, if you even have like collections, let's say um, sports cards, Pokemon cards, comic books, Funko Pops, I will buy your collections out. I don't buy them all. I don't buy them all. Sometimes they just there's no value in the collection where it's all just you know cheap stuff that I can't even sell myself. But I mean, as long as it's a quality collection, good chance I will buy it. Who we have? Annihilus Marvel. We have Walgreens exclusive. That's a decent one. At least it's an exclusive. Actually, they were both exclusive, so that's not a bad deal. It's better than getting just a common pop out. It's coming in at what's that say? Eleven dollars. So I lost a couple bucks on that on that one. But at least it is an exclusive. Two fruities. Here we go. Scratch off card. Then we're going to do the much bigger value box that's coming in. 200 bonus tokens. Okay, here we go. Ready though for this much, much bigger value box. The Boom Loot Mystery Boom Box. Legendary Vaulted and Exclusive Volume Number 54. Three to four pops per box. $470. That was the total for this box. It says the highest value box at the time of packaging is over a thousand dollars. So one person, 15 bucks, you have a one in 15, one in 15 chance getting over double your money back. It says all box conditions are near mint condition or better. This does not have a preview of the actual pops available. Maybe like my thumbnail, I'll have it like behind me in the thumbnail or something. I didn't look it up. I kind of, it, it's on their Instagram page, but 470 bucks, guaranteed value, right? That, that's what it said, right? I think, guaranteed value. Or it could be over double my money. Yeah, Boom Loot, I've always been a fan of Boom Loot mystery boxes. They're always fantastic value. They never let you down. I think like one time ever, it didn't meet value. And that was because I think they had like the wrong sticker value or something like that. Oh, box in the box, okay, box in the box. Weight-wise, all four corners feel like they're the same. Three to four pops per box. Three to four. Only 15 total boxes made. Even if there's four pops, that's almost $100 a pop. If there's only three in there, that's like $150 a pop. That it costs, you know. Stuffing? Come on, let me feel around. Bubble wrap, pull that back. Here we go. One hard stack. Okay, we have one hard stack and three in soft protectors. Hard stack last. You ready? First one in the soft protector. Back says John Wick. We got, oh, bang, bang. We got the John Wick chase. Super cool. This one is actually a hard one to get now. 
This actually was from their final restock in 2020. I've actually held on to two of these chases now for a few years. And this one also will go into the stack of I'm holding pops back because some like this will never go down in value. Super popular movie. Keanu Reeves, one of the best actors of my lifetime. So yeah, I'll put that away with the other ones that I have. It says PPG value in this was 170. Bang, bang. Nice hit right there. I'll take that. It's a good one. Go pot number two. The back says Ahsoka. That's a good one. We got the Ahsoka. LA Comic Con. What year is that? 2017. Glow in the Dark Ahsoka. Has no value on it, but I think it's like, what, 30, 40 bucks or so, I think. Unless value has gone up since she had her TV show come out. Buy that might have shot up. So there is one that is in a hard stack, which that should be the big hit in this box. But I, I personally would at least put that in a hard stack, too. That's $170 pop, it says. So this hard stack pop is worth more than this pop, it looks like. This might be a very nice hit. Soft protector number three. We have, oh, that's a good, I just sold this pop. It's worth around a hundred bucks, actually. The Thrill Killer Batman. That's a very solid pop. 2015, it's vaulted. Midtown Comics exclusive. I just sold this pop literally like two weeks ago in a Whatnot live auction. I actually sell live on Whatnot every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you've never followed follow me or watched me on Whatnot, there'll be a link down below. Download the Whatnot app. Use my link down below. Save 15 bucks on your first purchase. So it's not a bad deal. Use my link. Save, save money on your first purchase. Take advantage of that. Yeah, so right here, I'm guessing here's probably at least over 300. So it means, yeah, 170, 270. This, one, this one's going to be at least like 170 plus. That's in a hard stack. These three pops are there are fantastic hits. No complaints. This box is just keeps getting better. Here we go, hard stack. Oh, we got the OG Donald Duck. That is a good hit. It says PPG value of this one is $200. That's the OG 2014 Disney Store Donald Duck. This was a very good box. Look at the four pops that came out of this box. Four solid pops. Let's go ahead and let's see PPG value. I did okay on this box. First pop is Soka. This one's coming in now at $80. Value on her went up. Quite a bit. I thought it was worth 30 or 40. It's worth 80 now. Nice. Or it could be over double my money. Yeah, Boom Loot. I've always been a fan of Boom Loot mystery boxes. They're always fantastic value. They never let you down. I think like one time ever it didn't meet value. And that was because I think they had like the wrong sticker value or something like that. Oh, box in the box. Okay, box in the box. Weight wise, all four corners feel like they're the same. Three to four pops per box. Three to four. Only 15 total boxes made. Even if there's four pops, that's almost $100 a pop. If there's only three in there, that's like $150 a pop. That it costs, you know. Stuffing? Come on, let me feel around. Bubble wrap, pull that back. Here we go. One hard stack. Okay, we have one hard stack and three in soft protectors. Hard stack last. You ready? First one in the soft protector. Back says John Wick. We got, oh, bang, bang. We got the John Wick chase. Super cool. This one is actually a hard one to get now. This actually was from their final restock in 2020. I've actually held on to two of these chases now for a few years. And this one also will go into the stack of I'm holding pops back because some like this will never go down in value. Super popular movie. Keanu Reeves, one of the best actors of my lifetime. So yeah, I'll put that away with the other ones that I have. It says PPG value in this was 170. Bang, bang. Nice hit right there. I'll take that. It's a good one. Go pot number two. The back says Ahsoka. That's a good one. We got the Ahsoka LA Comic Con. What year is that? 2017. Glow in the Dark Ahsoka. Has no value on it, but I think it's like, what, 30, 40 bucks or so, I think. Unless value has gone up since she had her TV show come out. Value that might have shot up. So there is one that is in a hard stack, which that should be the big hit in this box. But I, I personally would at least put that in a hard stack, too. That's $170 pop, it says. So this hard stack pop is worth more than this pop, it looks like. This might be a very nice hit. Soft protector number three. 
we have oh that's a good i just sold this pop it's worth around 100 bucks actually the thrill killer batman that's a very solid pop 2015 it's vaulted midtown comics exclusive i just sold this pop literally like two weeks ago in a whatnot live auction i actually sell live on whatnot every friday night at 6 p.m eastern time if you've never follow followed me or watched me on whatnot there'll be linked down below Download the WhatNot app, use my link down below, save 15 bucks on your first purchase. So it's not a bad deal. Use my link, save save money on your first purchase. Take advantage of that. But yeah, so right here, I'm guessing here's probably at least over 300. So it means, yeah, 170, 270. This, one, this one's going to be at least like 170 plus. That's in a hard stack. These three pops are there, fantastic hits. No complaints. This box is just keeps getting better. Here we go, hard stack. Oh, we got the OG Donald Duck. That is a good hit. It says PBG value. This one is $200. That's the OG 2014 Disney Store Donald Duck. This was a very good box. Look at the four pops that came out of this box. Four solid pops. Let's go ahead and let's see PBG value. I did okay on this box. Thrill Killer Batman coming at 90 bucks. Nice. John Wick Chase, 105. They got one set. This this box literally just sold like a month ago. No, it wasn't, it wasn't even a month ago, was it? When did this box get sold? Or it shipped? It just shipped a few days ago. I'm recording this on September the 26th. It shipped on the 19th. It shipped a week ago. So, uh, yeah, I think they put the wrong value in this pop. I thought 170 seemed, seemed like a lot. It's only worth 105 bucks. They have it at 170 so they actually, they, they've actually they actually done this to me twice now. They put the wrong value on this pop by a lot. That was only worth 105 So, actually, I might not have done as well as, as, as I had thought I did. Last pop, Donald Duck, it's only worth 155 They have it at 200 yeah, they boom loot screwed up the values of this of this box on two of them like massive screw ups. This pop is only worth one or one fifty five. Total is only four thirty. It was guaranteed four seventy, and this only shipped seven days ago. So in seven days, value of these would not have dropped that drastically. So yeah, I think they. I wonder if they use the Funko app. Well, the Funko app has this at one hundred five. So. It's, yeah, they just majorly screwed up on their values. They have this at 170, it's worth 105. That's a $65 difference. This is worth 155, they have it at 200. So yeah, they they screwed up pretty big on these. They screwed up over $100 on the value. <laughs> so I praised, I still love Boom Loot, but this is like the second box in the past like month or so where they've screwed up the values of their pops in these boxes. So they Boom Loot needs to be more careful on your on your PPG values because you're way off. Somebody's not doing the lookup correctly or something. So yeah, this did not meet guaranteed value by quite a bit. It was still a good box. I still like all four pops in there, but yeah, boom, boom, you screwed up again. That's like the second time within the past month where your values were off by a lot. They were off by like what, 20%. So. Whoever's doing the PPG value lookup, I think you need to retrain them because they're not doing it correctly. So that could come back on you poorly. I don't know if Boomloop watches these videos, but if you do, take this as kind of like a learning experience. Be more careful on values because this is the second time within about a month that my box has been screwed up. So just be careful. Mistakes happen. I'll still buy your boxes, but just be careful. If you watch this video, you probably don't. But anyway, that's my video. These will all be for sale in a future WhatNot Live auction. You can buy these. For around PBG value, not inflated false values.